Hello and welcome to this video, Gareth here from tastetubes.com. In this video, we are going to look at the Citibank logo, learn a little bit about the logo and the designer behind it. So the Citibank logo was designed in 2002 by an American designer by the name of Paula Schur, born in 1948. Paula Schur has developed identities, promotional material, environmental graphics, packaging and publication design for a broad range of clients, including Microsoft, Bloomberg and Coca-Cola to name a few. Paula began her career as an art director in the 1970s and early 80s and has been a partner of the New York office of Pentagram since 1991. Paula Schur is well known for her landmark identity for the public theatre in the mid-90s, where Schur's text-heavy posters present a large amount of information in a dynamic and expressive way. Paula Schur's work also includes the design of the Windows 8 logo, the Highland logo and the Jazz at Lincoln Center logo. To quote Paula Schur's pentagram profile, Paula Schur straddles the line between pop culture and fine art in her work. Iconic, smart and accessible, her images have entered into the American vernacular. So the Citibank logo was designed in 2002 to replace the previous logo that had been used since 1978. It's important to note here that Citibank is the consumer division of the financial service multinational Citigroup. The city part of the logo had already been developed in 1998 to replace the previous Citigroup logos that had been used since 1980 through to 1998. To quote Paula Schur on the logo design, I drew the city logo after we had the first meeting on a napkin. They had to merge travellers in the city. Travellers have umbrellas and city is a word. The lowercase t is an umbrella. You stick an arc on the top and you got it. And here is the very sketch Paula drew from that meeting. The Citibank logo is essentially a word mark. The word city is in a more heavier weight than the word bank, and the word city has an arc shape element over the top to make the umbrella. Today, when city group is represented, it is common to see just the city word mark element alone, with just the arc on the top. So the initial idea of City was sketched on a napkin but refined and produced later in the studio and the word bank was used as part of it. The word mark is a sans serif typeface called Interstate designed by Tobias Freire Jones and was released during the mid to late 1990s. If you want to learn more and take a closer look at the font there are some links in the description. So what do I think about this logo? Well the City Bank is a consumer division of Citigroup I like how City has become part of a small system. It's versatile, City can work on its own when representing Citigroup, and Bank can be added for its own distinction. I think this is a clear system and is nice for ownability and consistency. The logo itself is clean and modern, it's distinctive and appropriate. However, I don't think the umbrella reference is immediately obvious, but then in this case I don't think it has to be. It's more on the subliminal side. I did not see it at first, but now I know I see the umbrella all the time. So what can we learn about this story? Well, to quote Paula again on the city logo, It did not take long, it happened in a second, and it's all over the world. How can it be that you talk to someone and it's done in a second? But it is done in a second. It's done in a second after 34 years. It's done in a second after every experience and every movie, and after everything in my life that's in my head. This is really interesting. From this, we can learn that it is not always necessary to spend hours, weeks or months on the design and development process. Sometimes a great idea can indeed come quickly from collaboration and of course having lots of experience. There are many approaches a designer can take to designing a logo. In this example, we see a more logical, intellectual approach as opposed to a clever or abstract approach, which may have taken longer to explore. As Paula Schur states, after talking to her client, the idea came to her in a second. From this, we can learn how powerful collaboration is, sketching and talking ideas through, listening and sharing thoughts with a potential client. So if you would like to learn more about Paula Schur, you can watch her speak and read more articles. Links are in the description. There is quite a few interesting links there. I recommend you check it out. So that's one of many logos and designers I have spoken about. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more like it, you can see more episodes in the Famous Logos playlist. Link is in the description. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button on my Facebook page. If you'd like to see more videos like this in future, hit the subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitter at TastyChutes. So until next time, have fun guys, and I'll see you in the next video.